Okay, I am back for the one trade per day strategy. This is probably the most accurate, the highest percentage trade that you could take day in and day out that is the same. That you can score 20 ticks from. You gotta go one to one on this one though. Where you can also use a uh, halfback technique that works that will decrease your number of successful or trades, just to decrease your number of trades, but will increase not only your percentage of wins, but will also increase the, uh, the amount of ticks you'll make and at the same time decrease the amount you lose when you lose. <laughs> so it's a pretty good uh, technique. The only problem is it does take a lot of patience because uh, you know you'll miss trades. You'll miss trades and you'll be like, oh, if only I just would have taken it, I would have hit it. You know, and it'll happen again. <laughs> it'll happen again. You'll be like, yikes. You know. But if you looked at it mathematically, on it, you'd see you'd have super high uh, success. This really works. But you know. Not so easy to uh, to play. Okay, so let's for those of, of you out there who are uh, using this trade, you can watch me do it. This is going to be really super easy. It's just going to go down. <laughs> That's all it's going to do. But don't listen to me. Let's wait for the code because you know what? I'm wrong. <laughs> but the code seldom is. But yeah, I mean, the mathematics are very high. That's going to go down. The question is, is do I want to use a halfback technique? Let me see here. Nah. It's too, too high of a chance. If you look at the daily chart, you see we're at the bottom of the daily here. And if you were to, yeah, you just look at the bottom of the daily chart. It's just, it's too, it's too high. Too high, it'll just keep on going. In fact, really, I need to be going for more than just 20. Let's do it now because, well, okay, let's just keep the math really super high. You start raising it, the math goes down. But I really do think it'd probably be worth 30 today. It's worth 40 yesterday. Okay, I don't want to make this video too long. So let me um, pause the video. And I'll come back when I take an entry into this trade. I'm just going to go for 20 ticks. And um, see right here, it's already doing a half back. You really wanted to risk it, you go short. Right up here. Wait, let me calculate it for a second. Okay, that would be you'd want to get in at like uh like uh well like about thirty six. So you'd be in already. Well let me did I do that right? Yeah. Thirty six, thirty seven. You'd be in short. But that's not technical right now because it hasn't given a signal yet so it could you could be going the wrong way so that's what I'm trying to say but if it gave a signal then you'd know which way it was going to go then you could play the halfback technique and know which way it was going to go whereas right now there's no way to know for sure not until it gives a signal okay so I'm going to come back wait for it to give a signal I think it probably will it's moving right now I think it probably will give a signal. My guess is it's going to give a short, but if it gives a long, I will most certainly go long. And um, in fact, if it goes long, this thing probably would really take off. If you tell, tell you the truth, but we'll see. Okay, so um, I will be back shortly once I take an entry or get close to it at least. By the way, though, just for you out guys out there who are 
trading this trade. Apparently there's quite a few of you. If you would have taken the gamble yesterday and did the halfback technique without getting the entry, you'd have made it. And pretty much aced it. Remains to be seen whether it will work here or not. But here's another thing. It's very abnormal. Well, I shouldn't say that. I was going to say it's very abnormal for it to go from one range to the other and then and then go, you know, that way and make the break, you know, and make an entry. Uh, it's more abnormal for that to happen, whereas usually it'll be a continue. So it'll can just continue. So this would this would be the half back. before the entry. So what that means is is that once it once you get an entry, you can take the entry and not have to worry about the halfback cuz it's already done it. See what I'm saying? Or if it just keeps on going up now then maybe it'll give a another another entry, you know what I mean? So see how you can just narrow it down mathematically like that? Just look at it mathematically like that. Doesn't matter what it does. It just matters if you can see what it's doing. And if you can see what it's doing, then you can take the appropriate trade, no problem. But it's a way, you don't have to know everything. You can just like narrow stuff down like that to where you can just look at a small section of it and then take it. Like for instance, this trade is a small section. You can just f focus on this one trade. Okay, I'll come back shortly. Oh, like for instance, right here, let me give you another technique. You could easily just play it short right here, right? And then if it does go and go and break above, you just get back out. So it's a short loss off of an ace of an entry, which would give you an extra 20 ticks almost. Extra 20 ticks, like uh, let's say. Yeah, well, okay. Yeah, but about 20 ticks. So, I mean, you could basically go for 40 from there. 40 instead of only 20. Like I'm going to do. So I'm saying? But it's just a way for you to risk a certain amount, small, small, for a larger amount. It's also a repeat of yesterday, too. I mean, it would be a repeat of yesterday. Exactly. So... It remains to be seen. I'll come back. Okay, I said I thought this was short. I'll have to take that back now. It looks like it wants to go long. It might get hot too. It might get hot because if it goes long here, what it's doing is it's going long off of a code 2 trade at the bottom of a daily chart. The thing is though, is just to let you know, the mathematics that that's truly the bottom is very low off of this code. Very low. In fact, it's so low that I don't think I can ever think of a time. That's how low it is. So it's almost impossible that this is the bottom. Almost impossible. Now, okay, wait a second though, wait a second though, hold on a second. Let me, let me relook at this. Okay, no, 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 no. If I relook at this, we can see that the bottom came at 7.30 my time, which is right when the news came out. So the bottom is actually at the news. Yes, it can make a bottom on a, on a daily at, on the news. Yes, it can. And so we could look at that as a possible, okay, we'll look at that as a pivot point, right? A special point right there, right at the news, okay? And it's moving up from there. And now it, now if it gives a long entry off the second code two, that could mean this thing could boogie back up. So I'm starting to get bullish here. I'm starting to get bullish here. And let me think here now. Oh, let me calculate this. Uh, do, 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 do. Okay, where are we at here? And the top is way up there. Okay. All right. So, okay. So we would break through that. Wait, let me see here. If, if, 
yeah we would break through that oh man this thing will boogie it'll boogie so we need to give it more more ticks here for sure we need to go for a minimum of 30 well actually wait a second 20 will get me out right at the top double top yeah but what's the th what's the bat that it's going to uh it's not going to break it's going to break it's going to break. Listen, there's times to go for stuff and there's times not to. This is the time to go for something. In fact, I should be going for 40 ticks. Because if that thing breaks, it's going to go up for sure. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, I know it hasn't been doing much off of breaks lately, but come on. There's time to go for something and there's a time not to. Yeah, I'm going to go for it. I'm going to go for 40. Because what's going to happen is, is 20 ticks takes it up to um, the top the immediate top on the daily chart there's there's two tops on the on I mean on the on the 10 minute chart there's two tops right now there's one at 987 80 mm, 85 86 87 something like that 85 I'll say 87 85 somewhere around there and then there's one at about 78 87 78 somewhere around there so if it gives a long entry, it's going to go up at least 20 ticks. 20 ticks takes it up to the top of like 90, 90. It takes it up to 8780, which is the top is like 8785 roughly. So just 25 ticks would break the top. And we're coming off the bottom of a daily. And we got the bottom at the news today. The news, it's right at 730. Is right where the bottom's at. So it could have set a bottom there on the da on the daily chart, and then now it's going to move up, move up off of code two. Remember, I keep talking about hundred tickers, hundred tickers, hundred tickers. You haven't seen one yet, have you? Well, one of these days you're going to see one, and this could be it. <laughs> I keep saying that, don't I? Well, this this I'm, I'm you know what can I say? These trades are just coming, and I have to read them the way I see them. And this this really could be it if it gives a long entry off this code. Remember, I also said that it's strange for it to go from one range to the other, one side to the other. Doesn't do that too often. It's usually a continuation. And this this would actually be from one to the other, so it would be a strange entry all by itself. And then you got the break on the on the 10 minute and you've got the bottom on the daily with the news at the bottom 10:30 a.m. eastern standard time right when the news came out so we've got a mathematical chance here for this thing to get bullish and to move upward i right now i'm just waiting for an entry to come i'll come back when i get one it's shooting straight up here it's getting hot get ready to enter Going straight up. What do we got here? This thing may really take off. 40 tick exit. Okay, here we go. Ready to jump in. This is code 2. This is very irregular. This thing really, this could be the 100 ticker. Here we go. Gonna take entry. It's getting hot. Where's the code at? Oh man, this is just the beginning. Here we go. It's gonna it's going to give a code two long entry. It's going to take off, I think. Here we go. I don't wanna miss this. This could be a forty ticker real quick. Where did it go to? <laughs> wants to play a game, huh? Okay, okay. Watch. I think it's just heating up here. It's just getting ready to start. This is very irregular for it to do this under normal circumstances if it's not going to go and do it and break. Okay. Interest of time, I'll pause the video. Okay, I've just taken an entry. The thing shot up on me. I've taken an entry. I'm in long at 87.63. This sucker wants to get hot, I can tell. It's going to go. It's going to go. This is a code 2 trade. I've got a 40 tick exit on this thing. 
the top is about 87, 85 roughly. 20 ticks puts me at the top. It's going to go up and break. This is a code 2 to go long. These things are normally only good for 20 to 40 ticks, but this, this one, this one could be it. Coming off the bottom of a daily. Code 2 to go long. We've got a really, you know, this is not an ordinary code 2 trade here. This thing's acting completely different. It's acting like it wants to go. But it remains to be seen whether it's going to or not. Here we go. Watch it shoot up another 20 ticks. Sometimes this one right here will get really hot. I'm looking to see if this is going to be it. So far, it's, it's a dud so far. But technically speaking, though, this trade is a, is a, is good for, you know, 20 ticks. So if it doesn't really start taking off soon, I'll just go for 20 ticks. No big deal. 20 ticks is 20 ticks with high mathematics. But the way that it went up and just broke through and gave a long entry like it just did, man, that's bullish. That is really, really bullish. But it remains to be seen whether we're going to get a follow through here now. I mean, like a really bullish follow through, you know what I mean? I mean, sure, it's going to go up, but is it just going to like, you know turtle its way up or is it gonna like boom take off and really show that this thing has got some legs and it's gonna go up for maybe a hundred ticks I just don't want to wait around that long that would probably take like you know a couple hours at least or well maybe not that long I, I've seen it do it in 30 minutes before 100 ticks 30 minutes no problem but that doesn't happen too often though Okay, it doesn't look like it's going to really take off, does it? So we're going to have to wait for our 20 ticks. I'm probably just going to go for 20 unless this thing turns around and boom, takes off. I'll just go for 20 like I normally do. But it's a great trade. It's a fantastic trade. Just you want to be able to, when you get the big ones, you want to be able to catch them. You know, that's why I put it at 40 on my entry. Just so I could catch a nice fat trade. And usually on the big ones you can get out for 40 right away too. So that's nice. Then you're all done. Then it maybe come back down a little bit and then take off a little bit later. And go some more but take the quick quick 40 exit. Okay so I'll come back and show you the uh, progression of this trade. It's starting to move up here but just you know not very quickly. 70, 71. It'll have to really start moving pretty quick here to be like a really big trade. It doesn't. It's just a 20 ticker. 63, 73, 83 be my out. 83 is like right at the top too. We'll see what happens. See how it how it gets up there. How much how much longer it takes to get up there. I guess in some ways, for those of you who are new to trading, this is a great trade because just look how slow it, it generally moves. I mean, or look how slow it's moving. I mean, it's like so easy, you know. It's not like it's going back down on you or scaring you or, or anything like that. It's just going up slowly. Not really any stress involved, <laughs> you know. Let's see, 83 would be 20. What I want to do is see how it handles the top here. Still not at the top yet. Getting close though. I give this thing a, the, the, the chances of it going up and breaking the top are good. Very good. Here it goes. I just think it's about 85 roughly. I 
see how hot it wants to get. Sometimes it'll get hot and just boom, take off. <laughs> it's nice to be in them already when they do that. I pull my exit real quick and ride it up. It can go a hundred ticks real fast. Okay, I'm gonna pause the video. You can see it went up to 82, uh, 20 or uh, 19 ticks, but I'm gonna wait and see what it does. I'm gonna give it a chance to go up more because I think it will. I think it's probably gonna go up and break the high, which is about 85 or so, roughly. And what it does after the break, I don't know. It might break and then come back down. It might break and just boom, keep on going. We'll see. But I think the chances are very high that it will go up and break. 87, 85, and do it pretty soon. So I'll come back and show it to you. It just gave a long entry off of code one right next to the top here. It's going to take off. Watch. It's going to go boom. The high is right at 85, too. We've got a code one long entry. <laughs> right at the top, too. It's like four ticks from the top, roughly. I can't see exactly because I'm looking at the 10 minute chart. And it's from earlier today, so I can't see exactly the exact price, but it's right about 85. Code 1 long entry, here it goes. It's about to break, take off. See, but it's right next to the top of the, of the we're like we're double topping up here on the, on the 10 minute. But it's just going to go break through that. Because we've got a code one long entry. Basically, code one will almost never give you a long entry right next to the top and then not go. Almost never. Well, I shouldn't say never, but let's just say it's a very low mathematics. Very high mathematics that it will go up and break. That's why I'm calling it. It does it for both. The the short and the long side too. Whereas other traders, they'd be looking at this going, hmm, looks like a double top to me. Go ahead and short. Bad idea. Because not only is this a code 2, but this is also a code 1 long. Okay, I'll come back. Okay, I just wanted to show you that, first of all, this trade should just go up and go break the high, which is at like 85. It should just go do that. But if it's not going to do that and not going to be this winner, then what I'm going to do is lock in 10 ticks at 73. So at least this trade will be good for something. Because it hit 80, uh, 83, which was my 20 ticks, plus I got in a bad entry. I could have got it, I should have got in at like 61, 62, got a little bit bad entry, chased it like a few couple ticks. And so I, I would have been able to get out like right here at, at 81 for 20. Instead, I get out 80. It went right to 83, which was my 20 ticks. Okay. So it's already gone the 20, and I'm going for more for the break. See what I'm saying? But if it doesn't, better to take something off the trade and take some type of a a, a, a win. Because it's possible it could go all the way up there now to the double top and then just come down and the code 2 will only be good for that amount. It's possible. So I'm giving it a chance to keep going. But if it doesn't, I get out right here. Right here. Okay? That's how I'm going to play it today. I'll be back. Hey, it's going for the top here. Is it going to make the break? Look at the code. Checking it. Yeah, it looks like it's going to break. Come on. Shoot up. No, no, no. Don't come down. I got to get out if it just starts coming down. Come on. Shoot up. There you go. A little higher.
A little higher, please. Okay, that's it. I'll just take it right there. Okay, so I think I just got about uh, um, 20 ticks. 20 ticks. It's my normal 20 ticks. The reason why I'm taking that is because this thing, okay, true, it looks good on, on the chart and everything, but it's just not going very fast. Okay, now it wants to go up. Yeah. No big deal. Okay, 20 ticks a day will keep the bill collectors away. Right? And it'll allow you to build up your account over time. Imagine what you could do in a year. Build it up. One trade a day. It works. You see me doing it, right? You see me doing it. No magic, no hocus pocus, <laughs> no special editing. No, it just it's a it's a a mathematical flaw within the program. Let's put it that way. Okay, no big deal. Actually, I suppose it is a big deal, but I've been doing it for eight years, so for me, it's not a big deal anymore. But I realize to other people, they don't know anything about it, so for them, it's a big deal. Anyway, I teach how to do this trade. It's very, very simple. It's covered in code 2. And um, if you want to learn how to do it, it's very easy. It's very simple. I'll teach you. It's worth a lot of money, as you can see. It's worth a lot of money. And right now, this thing is batting like about a 90% success rate. And I don't know, you know, it's probably going to back down to about 80%, I probably would guess. But it's it's a solid 80% success rate on this trade. It's really very, very good. Just go for 20 and you get to 80%. Even higher. I think it's batting like 90 right now. Anyway, I'm going to get going. I'll be back tomorrow for some more trading using the code. And the reason why you were impressed is because you should be. See you tomorrow. Happy trading out there, traders.